this year we have more startups uh, than ever before across a number of programs. Those programs represent the stage or the size of uh, those companies. They come from more places than ever before and personally I think they're doing more interesting things than ever before. I shared some statistics just on the uh, countries that startups are coming from. We have more, and I think this is very positive, they're my next door neighbor, the United Kingdom, the largest uh, participation of any group uh, of startups is from the United Kingdom, uh, despite I think all of the challenges in the UK, um, startups are certainly thriving. Of course, the other major markets like Germany, France, the United States are incredibly well uh, represented, but increasingly we're beginning to see participation from Southeast Asia, uh, like Thailand, great participation from places like Angola, Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, uh, and we have a startup from, uh, from Syria uh, as well. We also have the largest um, level of uh, female participation uh, at Web Summit ever. Uh, it's more than 46% of our uh, attendees. We have more investors gathered than ever before. Um, the investors here and the funds that they represent will deploy the majority uh, of venture capital into startups globally over the next 12 months uh, and have deployed the majority over the last 12 months. So this really is the, the planet's tech ecosystem in one city uh, for, one, uh, for one extraordinary week. Infrastructurally, we're completely at maximum capacity. There are uh, counting staff all in with badges. It's just about 77,000 people with accreditation. Technically, attendees is, is, of course, less than that, which we count as the most important figure. We've built 22,000 square meters of, of temporary structures before the new venue is, um, is completed. I, I sort of think we've reached the perfect number uh, for Lisbon, in my view, uh, and I'm okay with that. Um, my main focus now, I think, is on the editorial side. On Monday, when I went and I was in a room with about 500 of the leading investors in the world uh, and I think um, yeah, I think 2020 is going to be exciting. It's undeniable that there's going to be a pretty significant market correction. I think there's going to be a lot of unicorns blow up uh, in the next 12 months, um, which depending on what side you're on, that's very exciting. Unfortunately, if you're in the unicorns, it's, it's devastating. Um, and some very rich people are going to lose a lot of money. Um, I don't know if that's a bad thing, and if people will be crying about it. But um, yep. So it's a very, it's a fascinating moment. I think it's just a truly fascinating moment for uh, investment. Twenty twenty, there's a lot to play at.